Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I'm Chucky2009, and tonight I'm out here with Peter Zila. Peter Zila, all right. And we're gonna figure out the difference because between okay. silicone bronze brazing and aluminum bronze brazing. Okay. So silicone bronze brazing, typically what you do is you heat the material up, not to the point where it gets liquid, and you dab the filler material in it into the hot spot, and you just melt the filler and you let the filler soak in there, just similar to the brazing video that um, Chucky and um, Wes just did. All right. And um, so we're gonna try this out in DC mode, as if we were welding, and um, see what happens. Okay. Slave breeze, YouTube. I melted some slag there ahead of the puddle that was still left over and I picked right up that heavy machine well. Alright. This is just this a random the demonstration here. How'd that turn out? You're the expert it, in this. It turned out pretty good. Alright. This procedure is used primarily for um, joining dissimilar metals like. Um, steel to stainless, steel to copper, copper to brass, or any of those to any configuration above. When the heat input does not allow welding, when you want to minimize warpage and distortion, and also when um, copper cannot really be welded to steel, but it can be braced with silicone bronze to steel. All right. So that's when um, you would use a silicone bronze rod. Excellent. Now, when do you lose? When do you use aluminum bronze? My welding supplier told me you do this when you want to match the color as an artist to something. Now we found a different use for it. Besides the color being slightly different, it's a little bit more golden and not that red. We also use this in the AC mode because there's aluminum and bronze in there. We use it in the AC mode to um, weld cast iron or any sort of casting and um, it provides a it provides a weld with like almost 50,000 psi tensile strength which um, is sufficient for most castings it matches the tensile strength of the parent material you want to go ahead and switch the machine over to the AC mode all right sure yeah and on that last one we're running 190 amps controlled with a foot pedal so I'll just pop this over on AC do I set this anywhere special, cleaning penetration-wise? Any balance? Um, just set it to balance setting, a uh, medium. Like straight up? You can, you can, we have pretty clean material here, so you can go, in this case, you can go more towards penetration. If you have a real dirty casting, you go a little bit more balanced. You don't want to go too much into cleaning, you wash too much stuff out of the casting. Okay, sure. All right, let's see how it's done. All right. So on this one, you will not win the beauty contest. <laughs> the aluminum makes it flow really nice. Okay. But um, the the looks of it, the looks of it vary also with how much you preheat your casting. This was a pretty cold piece of metal here. We were far away from here. We didn't preheat anything, so it didn't flow quite as nice as pictured. But on a casting, often enough. If you get it done, if it sticks together, you're in business. Looks are kind of secondary. To get the casting done is the top priority. So right. if you're in a big bind and you don't want to spend $125 per pound of nickel rod, uh, nickel rod in 330 seconds diameter, 36 inches long, about 12 sticks will make one pound. And one pound costs at your local welding distributor about 125 bucks. Jeez. And if you want to buy this, uh, the aluminum bronze, you're paying less than 25 bucks a pound. So this could be a cheap alternative for some fixes on cast iron water pump housings, on tractors, loaders, um, your garden bench, or anything where it's okay to come in there with a different color. It kind of looks like a gold tooth filling, All right. but um, it gets the job done. It's Excellent. pretty reliable. 
All right, very cool. Well, thanks a lot, Pete. You got a uh, like a channel or anything you'd like people to go to check out? Uh, check out Schneetiger77. I channel, can pronounce it earlier. All the, right. The, the channel will be in the description. All right. Yep. As always, well, I hope you all have enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. And a big thanks to Pete for coming out and uh, starting in this video. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs>